Greetings, 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 my hoodoo booze. I am the African Witch Bitch Hoodoo Practitioner. Hello, hello, hello. So today, <clears throat> I am here on this beautiful day to introduce two new crystals to the AWB collection. And I had to do this today because today is a special day. And I'm trying to help y'all with them kids. I love the kids. I love the kids. I love the kids. And I'm here to help y'all with these kids because I know... Because I am a pseudo mom and auntie to a whole slew of kids. I literally couldn't count all the kids I have. I know that it's not easy. And I know that some of these damn teenagers, young adults, preteens, make you want to snatch your damn edges out. And it's okay because that is what I'm here for. So today's crystal that I am introducing, the first one, is called an opal moonstone or an opalite. It has two names. People call it opalite or opalite or opal moonstone, but it's this beautiful, pretty, glowy motherfucker right here. Now this stone is perfect if you have that teenage girl who has mood swings. We all had them, I had them coming up. Mood swings, moody, teenage boy. All One moment he good, next moment he pissed off, got an attitude, <sighs> huffing and puffing and shit just cause you asked his big funky ass to take the garbage out. Or you ask her to get up and go wash dishes or clean up their room. They got a little funky ass attitude. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Do not sit here next to your mama and daddy and pretend like you don't be having no funky ass attitude. Auntie, no, you do. Parents, get them one of these. This right here helps stabilize their mood, okay? This is what you need. And it also helps them verbalize hidden feelings. A lot of times with kids, because their brains are still developing, they don't know how to process words and feelings right. And when they're in their teenage years and young adult years, those are the days, even preteen, those are the days where they need to talk more and speak if some shit is going on. But parents, side note, you also have to foster an environment in your home where your kid feels safe and comfortable coming to talk to you. And I'm not talking about for um, only major shit. I'm talking about little shit because the shit that kids think that small, we adults have a keen eye to look past their feelings and their processing of it to see. Example, let me give you an example. Your kid's gym tote coach, your son, right? He Let's say he plays soccer or basketball or baseball, whatever the case may be. And his uh, coach, his gym coach for that sport, um, let's say she did something inappropriate that the kid may not think is inappropriate because they're kids. But when he says, yeah, uh, it's not a big deal. You know, Miss, uh, whatever her name is, had white powder under her nose. You know, maybe she has allergies and they're walking away. And every time she gets like that, she acts a certain way. And your kid's going off into the kitchen making a damn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But we know as adults that this bitch probably got a coke habit. We don't know. We're, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not saying your kid's coach actually has a coke habit. I'm saying for the sake of this discussion, it's good your kid and came, kid and came and said something to you, even though it went over their head. You want your kid to verbalize hidden feelings? This is what you need. Tiredness, moody, this is what you need. It's also, side note, this is a business stone. Adults, even kids with lemonade stands or selling Girl Scout cookies, these are perfect if you want to manifest in your business. Get you an opal moonstone or an opalite. This, and they pretty too. Look, aren't they beautiful? Yep, I got a whole slew of them in stock available for purchase cost affordable price with AWB. The second stone I would like to introduce to y'all, I am so happy to have this one. I am so happy to have this one. This stone is indigenous to Afghanistan and I have a lot of women, Teresa and I, that hit us up from Afghanistan and other Muslim countries. You know, they're, they're in secret. They're not allowed to practice in the open, but I'm glad to offer this one available. This is called, this is called Lapis Lazuli uh, Stone. This is a healing crystal. So if you're dealing with any type of healing, whether it be internal healing, emotional healing, psychological healing, along with physical healing, this is what you need right here. You need to work this one right here. It opens the mind and it promotes self-esteem like a motherfucker. And y'all know me and Teresa, that's all we, we do. As long with the admins inside the tea room, we promote self-esteem. This is what we do. We love self-esteem. We love self-awareness. We love... Um, like a boost in you loving you. This is what we talk about. This is literally the base of our message. 
So this also opens your mind so that you can see you for the wonderful person that you are. You're going on a job interview. You're going on an um, a interview for a loan, for a house, whatever the case may be. And you want to feel like when you walk in there that you deserve whatever it is you want. Some people apply for jobs and they have the job interview. And maybe a few minutes before or a couple of days before, they're sitting up contemplating, thinking, can I really do this? Am I good enough? Blah, 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 blah. Pull this bitch out and work it. As soon as you feel those negative thoughts come inside your head about you not feeling like you're good enough for whatever it is you want to manifest. It don't have to be a job or a bank loan. It could be anything. Pull this out and work it so you can feel your self-esteem rise up. Sometimes self-esteem, it doesn't go on an evil plane like this. It doesn't go on a straight ascent. Sometimes it go through dips. Sometimes it go through ebbs and flows. So when you're feeling one of those dumps, work this. This is an excellent stone to work to boost self-confidence, self-esteem, self-awareness, and it puts you in a good mood. As I'm working this stone right now, I feel the energy from the stone vibrating in my hands. And it, and it just puts you happy. You in traffic and you got a problem with road rage because the bitch before you cut you off and you had to brake or your car had to brake for you. Because sometimes these, you know, updated cars, they slam on the brakes. Now you pissed off, you angry, grab one of these bitches, put it inside like the center console or something. And you just grab it and work it to, to stabilize your mood. You got that funky ass bitch on your job. Always got some messy ass shit to say, snitching and shit. You come into work five minutes late, this bitch done already ran and told your supervisor. Or how about she come in late all the time and you don't even give a damn because you in your own lane. And every time you see her and she got some bullshit ass, fake ass smile and you just want to snatch her ass from the back, pull this out and work it so that you can mellow the fuck out. Trust me on this. This works. I frequently carry one of these in my titties. I'm just saying. In traffic, I pull it out and work it. Bitch on the job, pull it out and work it. Clients got you fucked up, pull it out and work it. Them kids stressing you out. You know that you just opened up the mailbox or pulled up the, the report cards online and seen that your son been cutting up. And he ain't even got home from school, but you trying to stabilize so that you don't choke the shit out your kid. I'm telling you right now. And if you have that daughter or that son with that funky ass attitude, always got a smart ass mouth. Have them work one of these or you work it for them. Shit, stick it inside their glove box or car or shit. Sew it into their backpack, put it under their pillow, inside the pillowcase so that they can chill the fuck out. This stone has saved a lot of people from getting arrested. This stone has saved women from bashing their husbands upside the head with a pot. This stone saved a bunch of men from punching out their co-workers. Family gathering coming up and you know your fat bloated ass auntie always got something to say. Work one of these before you get to the family gathering. Okay, I'm sorry. I could give y'all scenarios for days because I know that these two work. These are the crystals that I'm launching. Um, also have some new oil burners. I think, here, let me grab this one. These are pretty. I have a purple one too. Not that look like this. It's actually glass and metal. And I could go grab it, but I don't have it right here. But this one, I really like. And it's white clay. The same, this is the design in the front, and this is the design in the back. And it is absolutely beautiful. You know what I mean? Cost effective price. You guys, please hit up the website, but I have a limited supply of, of these in the purple glass spiral oil burner. Limited supply. So you guys hit it up. You guys want these crystals, you wanna work them, hit them up, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. I am the African witch bitch. Trust me on this. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, I'm truly, truly, truly telling y'all. the This one works. The business stone. It works. And if you want somebody, side note, you going on a date with your dude, right? And he fine. And you've been liking dude for a minute. But you want to know how the fool, this fool feel about you. You can do the kaboom pow. I'm just giving y'all some spell advice real, real quick. I got the truth spell on my website, but you know, guys, they, they don't like to like verbalize as much as women do. Do the truth spell just so you can hear what he feels or whatever, whatnot. Also carry one of these bitches when you're on your date and work it while you're talking to him. You know, maybe have it in your titties, whatever on your neck, where, wherever you decide to work, you know, maybe have it in your purse and you're doing this, you know, and you ask him a question and you want the truth. Do you really like me or whatever it is that you want to, you know, but... Side note and warning, side note and warning 
before you work this crystal and before you do the truth T spell, be prepared for the truth. Because if he have some hitting feelings, it could go one of two ways. I'm going to give you, it can go one of two ways. A, yes, baby, I have feelings for you. You are so amazing. I just don't know how to verbalize it. I like you a lot. Um, you know, maybe we should start off slow and let's see where this go. Let's, let's uh, build from here. Let's step it up a notch. Let's, let's get committed. Or it could go this way. I like you, but I'm really kind of using you to get close to your cousin. Or I like you, but I'm really like low-key. I want to suck some dick. You know, babe, I think I'm, I'm struggling with my sexuality. Nothing wrong with being gay. I'm just saying. But if you gay, how about you not lie to the woman you with because you're trying to fuck on her brother? You know, babe, I really do love you, but um, I've been cheating on you with your with your auntie, the fat one that's always talking shit. Yeah, but she got some good pussy. You know, I've been cheating on you with her. Be prepared for the truth because this stone helps people verbalize whatever hidden feelings that they have inside, whatever they got, they got to get some shit off their chest. This is going to spill it out their mouth and they don't even know why they're doing it. Be prepared and don't cuss me out. Talk about why you tell me to carry this opal moonstone. And now my dude told me that he's cheating on me. Uh, honey, I, I, this is your warning right here. This right here is your disclaimer. I will talk to you guys soon. I am the African witch bitch. Ashe.